Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just wanted to quickly show you how to switch to the dark world. Because right now we've been seeing a lot of the desert, which is really cool. But I think the dark world is also really cool. Uh, that is the world that when you are playing the demo and you go all the way up to here, you can select to switch worlds. And actually it shows you something different. That's where you actually get to play a little bit more and go towards the giant. So I'm showing you how to get that with the within the editor. So without have to play the game. So you can look at the assets. Now, the way to do that is you first have to go into Windows. Make sure you have data layers on. So I have data layers here. And as you can see, uh, there are several layers and the other level is actually called the dark world. So this is what we want. And uh, right now I have it hidden. So you can see what happens when I toggle it on. But before uh, you don't have this box checked. So make sure you check that box. It's going to take a while because it loads the assets in there. Uh, once you've done, you can actually hide them and unhide them individually. So I'm going to unhide it. And there you go. We have the dark world here. You can see the sky kind of changed, but not so much. I'm going to uh, get that game view so we can uh, get all those things out of the way and as you can see i do have part of the dark world here the reason why you're not sh sh looking at the entire thing is because uh this is meant to load without these desert worlds so some of the assets are actually underneath as you can see here it's uh poking out but actually it, it does look really cool the way that it's you know, protruding out. It's like it's a sunken uh, city that got swallowed by the desert. But if you want to actually look at the dark world, all you have to do is hide the cam campfire replace. So just, just toggle this one. And there it is. So we have the dark world here. So we can look at this nice uh, cloth animations, all these really cool fog that's going on here. And we can have a look at all this nice assets. Uh, one of the things that I haven't been able to see is the giant is not here. So if we travel all the way here, uh, you can see the giant, it's not there. So it may be uh, loaded separately. Actually, once you go through a uh, cutscene place in in order to load that, so that might be it. But this is a way that you can load this level because it's really cool to play down here and to analyze all these other assets that they have built for us. Uh, one thing, this may be a little bit of a strain on some system. So if it's too much, instead of uh, toggling the little eye right here, you can actually uncheck the box and it will unload all the previous levels. So that may be helpful if your system is uh, chugging along. Fortunately, I think I'm at uh, over 100 frames per second. So I'm good. But hey, that's it. If you wanted to take a look at this part of the terrain, now you can. So make sure you subscribe for more Unreal Engine 5 content and I'll see you in the next video.